Well, welcome to the review there, uh, Vern, my uh, trusty fellow associate and uh, researcher at Noel's World of Whiskey, and of course, uh, my master taster here, Sparky. Uh, Sparky, you've been into it a little bit early, I see. I hope you're in good enough shape for the review. To skip the history, just jump ahead to the review. Well, we're going to locate the Elberfeldy Distillery, of course, the one that John Dewars built back in uh, 1896. I believe it opened in 1898. And uh, let's blow it up here. And in the community of Elberfeldy, and uh, close to the River Tay, there it is, Elberfeldy Distillery. Well, welcome, folks, and uh, another session of Noel's World of Whiskey. Uh, we're going to do a another Aberfeldy. Uh, I did one earlier, 16, and I, I sh showed you the little kit that I got. It was a year and a half, two years ago I got this. Uh, cute little thing. I think I paid 100 maybe even less than 100 for it. Uh, 200 uh, I think there are all three 200s. Uh, and uh, you get the 21, you can get the 16. Basically, you get the 21 here, you get the 16, and you get the 12. So, um, we're going to go after the 21. We, we've done the 16. Uh, the 16 was a uh, bourbon. Uh, it was bourbon, I think, uh, 15 years, under, just under 15 years, and then a little over a year in, in an Oloroso uh, cast. So uh, we'll go for the 21, and we'll give it a shot. It's never been opened, so I'm going to have to open it. Um, these are 40 ABV, all three of them. And I'll be real honest with you, I haven't even, even had a, a 12 Aberfeldy probably did in a Dewar's because I do I do like the the uh, the blended scotches the the Dewar's yeah I like blended scotch how do you like that but I've been drinking scotch longer than most of you so I'm quite proud of the fact that I enjoy blended scotch I drink uh, I drink a Dewar's twenty one double double a twenty seven double double and a thirty double double and I I know there's got to be some uh, Aberfeldy in that because uh, the distillery was built by uh, Tommy or Thomas Dewars. That's uh, his nickname was Tommy, and uh, John Junior Dewars. Uh, way back in, uh, I think they they started in 1896, finished in 1898, and it was to 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 fill a dream that their dad had to to have a a distillery built, and they pursued that and. Um, that is the Aberfeldy Distillery. So, 
Let's uh, get into it here. This is a 21, um, again, bourbon cask, and it's finished in uh, sherry cask, I, I believe, uh, El Rosso cask. Uh, I, I'm going to check on that. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think it's uh, uh, M&S, but we'll, we'll uh, check on that. And I, can, I can correct myself uh, on the video. The beautiful thing about doing a video, eh? <laughs> you can correct your mistakes. Hey, I'm not perfect, and I will edit. I know some reviewers will not, but I don't have a problem with it because that's the way my life has been. I've edited a lot of things in my life. Anyways, um, let's get into her. Uh, the nose. A rich. Wow. It is um, got a little bit of leather mixed in with the sugars, uh, the honey demerara sugar, but it's got some leather. And um, ah, I don't think I'm smelling any peat. I'm getting floral notes. And, um, oh boy, lots of honey. And a wee bit of wood's coming through. Um, ah, oh, gee whiz, maybe, maybe, maybe the wood, the pencil shavings, I guess that's, you know, shavings, not pencil, but the shavings. Orange marmalade, I had that in the 16. And some sweet and savory herbal notes here. I'm, I'm having trouble identifying. Maybe um, dill leaves. Um, and now we're getting the um, bit of bit of black pepper, bit of cinnamon. Kind of musky though. Boy, this this nose goes on for quite a quite a while. Let's put it down, and um, ah, it's uh, it's interesting. That's all I can say. It uh, I wasn't expecting this. I read other reviews on this, and uh, I'm not getting their notes. That's for sure. So. So. Ah, boy, stewed fruit mixed in with uh, mixed in with the wood, the shavings, the, the oak. The vanilla is there. I'm getting the vanilla, so that's the uh, that's the the the, uh, the American oak, the bourbon. You can smell the bourbon. Oh yeah, but you know what? The the strength of this is the honey and the fruit. Slight bit of nutmeg with the with the cinnamon. Yeah, that's a nose that you could you could play with that for a while. Anyways, let's go after the palate. Salange. Different than the sixteen. It's got, um, it's got the wood now. I'm tasting the wood. Um, but I'm not getting the astringency of the wood. So that's, uh, and I don't mind a little bit. I don't mind a little bit of bitterness. It, it can give it a little character, especially with this amount of sweetness. But um, you've got caramel. You've got Macintosh toffee mixed with um, some white and black pepper. It can go either way, it can go white pepper, it can go black pepper, but you know, a little bit of the, 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 the hot pepper notes there, not super hot though. And uh, it's balanced. So here comes the chocolate. Uh, oranges and chocolate, 
nectarines, tangerines, a little bit of cinnamon mixed in with the orange, and the chai, the chai tea. But I mean, with the chai tea, there's a lot of spices there that you'll find in a chai tea that uh, are coming out. It's got a little more length than its finish, but um, it's still a short finish. Maybe, again, that's, that could be its weakness, but you know, this is a presentation for, I really believe, introducing people to scotch. Man, you you give this to uh, a newbie scotch drinker, they're gonna love this. You know, it's, uh, and every once in a while, we should have a drink like this. Um, there's drinks out there, I swear I torture myself to learn how to enjoy them. <laughs> this one you won't have to. Anyways, let's, uh, this one's for me. The wood. The wood is there. And um, a slight bit of astringency now, not much, but the wood's there. And now we're getting the vanilla. And we're jumping a uh, little bit of orange, a little bit of um, little bit of tangerine, and then we're jumping right to the, and it's disappeared, whatever that was. It's gone. I hate it when that happens. Ah, boy, what was it? But let's keep going because it's still going. So, so the spices are coming in here. The, the we, We've got the pepper, we've got the nutmeg, we've got the, uh, the, the, the ginger's gone by. I had a ginger in the beginning there, but it's, it's no longer. But um, the baking spices. Okay, let's go after the finish. Wood again, but mixed in with the with the um, with the uh, citrus notes, citrus notes and wood, um, chocolate, a uh, wee bit of coffee in the background. Is, is that coffee or if it is, it's a, it, it's a pretty exotic coffee. Maybe closer to chai again. It's but it's honeyed. So it's, it's going to go back and forth between the chocolate and the chai. And just a slight bit of astringency with the wood there. And a little bit of orange again. Now the, the, the citrus notes are slowly leaving. And the chocolate's slowly leaving. A little bit of the coating, now it's almost leaving. That's, that's the finish. So, I really like this drink. It's, it's a really, uh, it, the nose and, and my first impression with the palate, it's, it's got more complexity than the, than the 16 for sure. I think the wood has done a, a very good job, or they've done a good job with the wood, uh, the uh, the American oak, and of course finishing it in the sherry. Um, it's a good introductory drink. It's a very good introductory drink. You buy this as a gift for someone that's a newbie or somebody you're trying to introduce to uh, to to malt to scotch. Um, they're going to like this. Um, I'm going to give this, I'm going to step this up a notch from the 16. This is an 84, 85, uh, somewhere in that area uh, for a 21. I mean, it's a 40 ABV. Uh, it's a real fun drink. It's something definitely I have no problem keeping on my shelf. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. I think this is a little pricey though. So that's why I kind of scored it a little on the tough side there. Um, I might have given it a little higher, but I think this is going to be over $200 for the 21. It's probably, 
a good argument right now what it's worth. Uh, it's a 40 ABV. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of reviewers would probably say no, it, it shouldn't be a two hundred dollar uh, twenty one year old. But I don't know too many twenty one year olds that are less than two hundred dollars. So it's today's price of whiskey. Um, I'm not fighting it. It is what it is. So um, I, I I think that uh, you spend your money wisely uh, if you're going to be looking at maybe. Uh, purchasing a whiskey like this, this is the way to go. I paid less than a hundred bucks for this and it gave me the uh, the 21, the 16 and the 12. And sure they're 200, you're, you're missing a, I don't know, a, what 150 mils if you bought, bought a full bottle but you're getting the selection and you're getting it for a fraction of the price so um, that's the route I would go. Um, that way you're not overindulging in the price and it gives you a chance to get the full range. Um, the, the, the 21 is well worth uh, this kind of investment here and the 16 as well. Um, I will be reviewing the 12 so I hope you'll get a chance to come back and we'll do the 12. Uh, again, I have never done an Aberfeldy before. This is a, this is a first. Uh, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that, but anyways, uh, I, and I have probably done them drinking the, because I've been drinking John Dewar's for years. So anyways, um, I'm going to, I'm going to advise you to drink uh, wisely and intelligently and do not drink and drive. And until the next time, so much.